Hey guys, what's up? Mike Curd 360 and I'm going to try to keep looking at that camera, but I know I tend to look at the picture. Um, I want to talk to you about uh, solar panels today. Now, of course, it's hitting solar panels. These Reveal X Gen 2.0, and that's the new uh, Cuddyback Trax camera. It's a standalone cell camera. Works with an app. Uh, a little different than what most people know the Cuddybacks has with their link cameras. Uh, but the reason I'm showing you these, and I'm going to talk to you about solar panels, is because right here I usually have two and sometimes a third right here uh, camera running all the time and it gives me a good feel for if the cameras are missing um, and and most of the time they all are pretty much tip for tat on that but uh, usually uh, I've always got cameras running here I've always got cell cams uh, sometimes it's Spartan Go Lives uh, which is a battery hog battery consuming camera uh, I run them on 30 second video, zero delay. Uh, the Ridge Techs run on 30, I'll run those on 30 second videos. The Go Live is always in real time mode because it has like live stream capability. And so it eats battery. Uh, the Reveal X Gen 2.0s and the Pros, I'll have the Pro up here sometimes. Um, they, I run them in instant settings check, which is also like a real time mode. So it uses a lot more battery than normal. Um, and, what I wanted to tell you is that I had two, sometimes three, but I had two cameras running in this spot on one solar panel for, I put it out in November 2021 and it just went dead on me last month. Now, it went dead on me because it had three cameras hooked up to it. It's winter time and since the first of the year it's been just rainy and cloudy and it's been a, a, an unusually rainy year this year for us. And so we've had tons of cloud cover, tons of overcast, and that's just not conducive to, to good solar producing, solar panels producing energy um, to recover those batteries that the cameras are using up. So what panel did I have? I'm hooked to for what, about 14 months. That was a SPP 1025. That's my solar panel. Um, and y'all know I, I developed the SPP 1020 for years before that I was building hand building um, hand building solar packs for guys and and it just got to be you know I'd, I'd get a hundred behind I couldn't keep up building them the demand was so high for me and I ended up finding a manufacturer that would work with me and uh, let me see if I can clean that lens off it looked like it was dirty um, found a manufacturer that would work with me we came out with the 1020 and then uh, immediately I started uh, telling their, talking to the engineers and telling some things I wanted to change about it. And we came out 1025 after that. So uh, anyway, it ran close to 14 months. Finally went dead. Not surprised. Three cell, th two cell cameras and a non-cell camera. Not gonna lie to you. Um, but just cloudy, just constantly cloudy. And one of them was a Spartan Go Live. Uh, and then that revealed X Gen 2.0, both cameras in like a real time mode. Um, so what did I do after that? It went dead, took it in the shop, charged it up. I put it out in another spot now. Uh, so I wanted to try some other things. Now, that track camera around front, it's being powered by the Cuddyback Sunshade solar panel. This panel puts out like, I think it's 7.2 volts because that's, that's actually a six volt camera that that tracks camera is so 6.2 volts can't this thing's been keeping up just fine um it's been out for i guess a little over a month now i haven't had any issues with it uh, very impressed with this little unit this ordered off of amazon it's a little they claim a five watt with 6,000 milliamp hour lithium battery um i just put it back out today because it it wasn't out but maybe three weeks and it went dead uh, I don't know how many pictures, but I can tell you that these cameras, you know, they don't get combined. I don't get a hundred pictures a day. So, you know, between each camera, they're probably getting 20, 30, 40, maybe on a busy day, 50 pictures a day. Uh, so this one, it didn't even last uh, on running one camera too. Not running two, not running three. This one was running one camera, didn't last three weeks. Now I'm going to show you why. One of the reasons why, um, well, it's small for one thing, for a cell cam, it's small, but also we just don't get a lot of sunlight. Now, the sun in the winter time, the sun tracks right across there, 
So you get it peeks through that hole um, and, and some of these other holes it'll peek through and hit that solar panel. But you know, when a solar panel, when they tell you it's rated five watts or 10 watts, or 20 watts or 30 watts, whatever, that means it was rated to put out that wattage in the most perfect condition, laboratory conditions really. But they also call it high solar noon minimal dust in the atmosphere, just perfect conditions. Anything less than that, and especially overcast, and then especially overcast with trees, uh, you're, you're gonna really reduce the performance of that solar panel. Now, I pulled it down, I took it and charged it, which is why I put it back out today, and I put this little wing home job out there. Now, this one, it didn't even last two weeks. Not even a thousand pictures, and it went dead. Uh, and so I put this one back out. Um, what was I going to tell? You? Oh, the uh, the Tacticam one, this little Tacticam one right here. It lasted a little over two weeks. It wasn't it wasn't much more than the wing home, but it did outlast the wing home. Now, guys, all I can go on is my location, and my sun, and my shade, and my trees. And my cameras um, I don't know what you're gonna get on your end but uh, that's what I got the little wing home job it's a joke and uh, it's just tiny it would probably work good for a non cell camera uh, or maybe a, a cell cam that you're only getting a few pictures a day and and you got good sunlight but it's it's like a two watt solar panel this the the Tacticam is a two and a half watt solar panel okay and it's not really got as much surface area as that. So it's about a two watt solar panel. Um, all right, so, and I thought I had a 1025 here. Let's walk in the shop. I'll show you the 1025. But these are my, my results, what I've seen, test them side by side. Um, you're gonna see something different, I'm sure. And I'll probably get people that'll get on here and, well, I've got one of those wing homes and it works just fine. Okay, good. Just showing you what it did for me. So, I know I'm all over the place with this camera. All right, so right here, that's a 1025. I don't know if you can see the herd 360 on there. Now, these. See if background i'm trying to get the good lighting maybe that's better this way all right so you got six volt output you got a nine volt output and you got a 12 volt output and a 25,000 milliamp hour battery guys that uh tacticam has got a 3000 i think i'm not sure what the wing home's got but probably about the same thing um so guys uh all right 1025s, uh, they're gonna power your single camera. Now, remember this. You will never hear Mike at Herd 360 tell you to run a solar panel in the shade or in filtered light. I just, I don't wanna set myself up for failure or my equipment, all right? There's a, when you stick something out in the dang environment, you already got enough going against you. Um, however, I you can see what I ran, and I have plenty of customers that tell me they work for them. I've got a few customers. That they tried to put them on on uh, feeders and whatnot, and they were not getting optimal sun on it, and it just didn't perform. Um, you know, they could move it out to a food plot or wherever, you know. But some, because some of y'all out there, y'all be getting 250, 500 pictures a day. All right, that's insane. So that's pulling a lot of power. That's pulling a lot of battery. Um, so I, I, you know, I don't know what else to talk about. I was bored today, and I knew I hadn't done a, I hope you can hear me, I knew I hadn't done a uh, video in quite some time, so I'll just save some other stuff for another day. Guys, I, I appreciate you watching, really do, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I hope it wasn't too boring of a video, and you got a little bit of information out of it. Uh, one other thing, those smaller solar panels, they're half the price, okay, they're half the price, they're they're not even half the performance, I promise you, as the 1025. So there's a reason why these cost more. There's a lot more to it. You see how big it is. All right? Y'all have a good day.